was a great that was a, a great set there thank, thank you. you very much welcome back to canada it's a pleasure it's an absolute pleasure being here thank that's good yes it's nice to have you back last time uh, you probably would have seen him at snow job of course i don't know if you missed that you probably just saw live performance by robbie and uh, what, what was that you were saying? Emodium? Emodium. I, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sick, well, I'm tired of singing Millennium now. And I, and I think just for the Canadian market, we're, we're going to call it Emodium. Okay. And you get free Emodium with everyone that comes. You're going to have to, you're going to have to redo the whole album then. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I don't know. So you're playing Toronto, your first date on the on the North American tour, May 1st, at the Opera House in Toronto. Yeah. And uh, are you, what are you doing to get psyched up for the tour? Um, I'm eating lots of grapes. I'm eating lots of grapes and, I, and I'm just commuting. I'm communing with pixies in a forest. And that and we're, helps we're, you because... Well, they fashioned my microphone out of, uh, like, berries and twigs and stuff. <laughs> and um, if, if I'm close with the pixies, then everything will be aight, aight. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? And that's what, I, that's what I'm doing. I take myself up to the forest, meet with the pixies, and then they fashion my microphone stick out of berries and twigs. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Yeah, we're just going to go on to the next okay. thing. Oh, right. Okay, okay. Now, you, you did just sing a new song. Yeah. And when did you write that? I wrote that, actually, in Texas. It's a song called Forever Texas. And um, it was written a, a, couple, a, few, a few days after the... No! I'll tell you when we wrote... No! High-pitched girl's voice! <laughs> yeah! Yeah, do do that. High-pitched girl's voice. Um, we wrote it in the porter cabin at Snow Job. Did you really? And truth... Yeah, that's right. We did, yeah. Before we were about to go on, we wrote that song, Forever Texas. Excellent. So it should be called Forever Porter Cabin. Yeah, shouldn't it? or Forever Jasper. Or Forever Jasper. But you were in Texas. Or Forever Rachel. Oh. Aye. Aye. Um, you were in Texas. I was in Texas. And, uh, and, and Tom, you were there right around the same time that Tom Waits was there. And yeah. can you do just a little quick Tom Waits impression for us? The piano has been drinking. My necktie is asleep. There you go. That was excellent. Very good. Very For those good. of you who don't know Thank what you. Tom Waits sounds like, it sounds exactly like what I've it just does. done. So come up! It actually does. Thank you. <laughs> now, you've got, you're doing, this is your first solo North American tour. Yeah. And, uh, you're not going to be playing to quite the crowds that you're used to be playing. Pixies. What was it? Slain, playing to Pixies. Slain Castle. Slain Castle. was like, what, 100,000 people? Well, Glastonbury was 100,000 and Slain was 80,000. Is it a bit of a blow to the ego? No, not at all. Not at all. I much prefer the abracadabra. I want to reach out and grab your audience that are just there with the Pixies. Grab, grab you. <laughs> not again. <laughs> Thanks for last night, by the way. Oh. 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 Um, yeah, no, I, I do much prefer a small audience. Okay. But preferably be about that big. Short ones, pixie yeah. size. Makes me feel powerful. <laughs> Makes me feel big. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm losing it. You're losing it. Do you recognize the name on the CD? Maybe I can show this to you. Rufus Wainwright. Do you recognize that name? Isn't that um, Rufus Wainwright? Yes! Uh, okay, he gets 10 points. Thank you. Excellent. No, the son of Loudon uh, Loud Wayne, Wayne Wright the III, third. who I, every time I look at your album, I notice something new. Yeah. And uh, you wrote a song with Loudon Wayne Wright the third. He's a, he's a famous singer songwriter, the father of uh, Rufus Wayne Wright, uh, well, April Fool's Day. I didn't actually write a song with him. Okay. I sort of borrowed oh. um, a few bits of the song that he does and put it into mine. But, you know, R Loud and Wainwright the third, you would have thought Rufus would have carried on there and been Loud and Wainwright the fourth, really, wouldn't you? He looks but like a Loud and Wainwright the fourth type of person, don't you think? Yeah? Except his, his name is Rufus, it's not, it's not Loud and... Yes, I know, but there's, there's an, it's a contingency plan that needs to happen. Perhaps you should change it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, next. Okay. Um, you disappeared for a while. Yeah. And uh, I, I'm on the Robbie rumor watch, actually. What, what happened? Well, you did, you, okay, wait, let me set this up a little bit better. You were on tour in Europe, and uh, yeah. you had to cancel a few shows, Mysterious Illness. Yeah, mystery, I had a, I had a celebrity mystery illness. And uh, uh, What happened was I was actually doing uh, a, a magic show where I, uh, back in England, this full show where I make the, you know, Big Ben, the clock? Well, I make it disappear, and the trick went wrong, and I disappeared. <laughs> and that happened, it was, I, I couldn't find myself for two weeks. I didn't know where I was. And then I ended up here in Canada with the Pixies. Uh, with the Pixies, the band, you Yeah, mean? I spoiled the whole show, actually, because I was supposed to make Big Ben disappear. It was half an hour live. 
and I disappeared. There was nobody to fill in for me. Go figure. <laughs> eh? Nobody could fill in for you. Well, no. maybe maybe Tom Jones or, or something like that. Oh. Well, El or Elton John. He was really mm. worried about you, I hear. <laughs> was he? Yes. Worried about me recently? Worried about you when you disappeared. Oh. Because, you know, there's all these rumours that, you know, you, you've got well, issues. Well, I, I think, it, yeah, well, I have no issues at all to, to, to deal with. Um, I went AWOL. And I think it's kind of, it, it adds a, a certain mystery and a bit of depth to your career if at one point, because I read all the biographies and everybody that's been rock and roll has actually disappeared for a little while and then come back, or, or, unless they're dead. And I've come back. So I went AWOL for a bit because it's mysterious. Yeah. Does it make you, because that, people really want to write about you. What yeah. is it that makes people... Or what is it about you that makes you want to do things to get people? Do you do things? You, you, you said that as like you didn't understand. Okay, let's. What is again. it about you <laughs> that's particularly interesting? No, but everybody wants to. <laughs> room, everybody, there's constantly something in the news about you, and what is it about you that well, makes I'm, people want to write these things about you? I'm tabloid fodder. You, you just follow me for a day, you get a great story. I'm always up to something that I shouldn't be up to, and I think that's that's why. 25 and I'm enjoying myself. Huh? Good. Is that all right? Thank you. Can I get an amen? amen. <laughs> but uh, this is the thing, is I've, I've read all the articles on you, and I read a, a recent one in Spin Magazine, which is a little bit offensive if you kind of find it. It was a little bit weird. Was it? I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I'll what show it I to do? you later. I'm not going to. Well, go find go find the article because, uh, yeah, I can't talk about it. I can't talk. Yeah, in the pool. I can't talk about oh, it on right, TV. Right, right. I think you were I think you were naked or something and which no, yeah. is a general thing for you. Yeah, well, I, I think we came into the world naked and um, I only wear clothes for survival. OK, if you must. Yeah, but um, I, I met you, we talked when we were in, in uh, Jasper for Snow Job, and you kind of, you seem like a different person than the media portrays you to be. You actually seem, you know, you're kind of portrayed in the media as this very, like, brazen, offensive kind of guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. And, uh, and you're, you're, you're really not like that in person. No, I, I think that, um, I think that because my, my job entails me to, uh, well, I don't know. The media write whatever they want to write. They, they say I'm a bad boy, and but I've never actually hurt anybody or uh, I've ne not necessarily offended anybody. Oh, I've never hurt anybody or necessarily offended anybody, and I think they think I'm a bad boy just because they want me to be. I like going home and, and waking up in the morning and my mum making me breakfast and then giving me a big hug. Is that what happens? Oh. Aww. Thank you. you. You're really slow there. We'll stop that one again. I like waking up in the morning. Okay, you know, enough, enough. And my mum giving me a big hug. Oh. There you okay. go. Does that sound like a bad boy to you? No. No. <laughs> we, got a, we got a question over here from uh, the audience. You got a big audience here. Hi. Uh, Hello. Hello. Uh, um, I was just wondering um, if you think Manchester United, it's a soccer team, for those who don't know, will make it for the whole three. Like the for the whole three. For the whole three. Yeah. What do you think of that? Uh, Manchester United are like the biggest football team in the world. They're a major soccer team in England. And <laughs> biggest football team in the world, major soccer team in England. Figure. And um, yeah, they're up for all three big things. And I think they will do, actually. I think they're good. But I'm impressed with your general knowledge. Yeah. Did you I was watching last night. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I'll ask Robbie that. Well, <laughs> and did you practice in your bedroom? Which three things <laughs> do you think you'll collect in your head or something? I bet you got it wrong a few times, didn't you? Look how red you've gone. Oh, I didn't believe that. I didn't believe there was that sort of shade you could no. get. No. We have another question over here. Look at everybody, put the camera on. <laughs> oh, now you can tell all your oh, friends you're on no, TV. Come, come here. Oh. oh. We're going to be embarrassed because you weren't really red. <laughs> nice to my sister. Okay. I was just wondering, I'm a pretty big Star Wars fan, and I just wanted to know which was your favourite episode and if you're excited about the new movie coming out on the 19th. Um, well, Star Wars uh, itself is my favourite episode, uh, but The Empire Strikes Back is the best, but Star Wars is my favourite, yeah. And um, I think George Lucas is very, very brave, uh, wanted to do the prequel to these films, and it could shatter my youth if... My youth in particular, George, if, uh, if, the, if, the, if the movies are bad, but I don't think they're going to be. I'm really looking forward to it. Excellent. Speaking of movies, I heard you were offered a part in one. Yeah, but we can't talk about that. Oh, we're not allowed to talk about it? No, we, we can't mention porn on much music, can we? 
<laughs> Do you, Robbie does Toronto. I think no. it's, I think it was cool. No, um, uh. yeah, no, I have been offered a few things, and I am going to be in a few. Th Hi, there's me. I'm looking at myself on the monitor. Wow, it's gone. <laughs> um, yeah, no, I am doing. I am doing a few things. Okay, I few but things. I heard you turned one down though. Yeah, I've, I've had to turn a few down because um, I do music and I haven't had time to. I really want to be an actor. You do want to yeah, be an actor. Yeah. But are you? The minute the first film, film, first great film role comes in, I'm leaving. Don't are tell you? anyone. Are you going to pull a pull a? Um, who, who was it? Master P. Master and he, P. And he completely done with music, and now he's like wants to play basketball and stuff. Are you going to start playing soccer really? and doing movies? R yeah, that's what I'll do. Is that, is that what he's done? I think so. Yeah. Fantastic. Are you going to do that? When are you quitting on us? Uh, probably after this interview, actually. No, you can't do that because you have to play at the at the Opera House on the oh, first. Oh yeah, all right then. After that then. Okay, and uh, New York on the fourth. Yep. And I heard that the Bare Naked Ladies have asked you to tour with them. Uh, have they? Uh, apparently <laughs> so. Apparently so. Wow, well, that's the first I know about that. I like the Bare Naked Ladies. Do you? Yeah, a tour with them where? Uh, in North America. In the house. I've heard it was just sort of this like a, a thing I got off the internet. A bit this of is a, Mother yeah. Bare Naked. This is Daddy Bare Naked. <laughs> and if you go through this, is Sister Bare Naked. They're just going to take me a tour through the house. This is where you'll be sleeping. What I know right now is this tour starts on the 1st at the Opera House in Toronto. And then it just gradually carries on. Carries on to other places. No, on the 4th in New York. And, uh, and I'll keep you updated on dates if you keep watching. Okay? okay. So thank you so much, um, Ravi. Do you, know, do you know what? Today as well, I've got acid in my stomach and I've got a headache. Oh. Oh. Oh, Sympathy you. vote. Thank What's that all about? Oh, oh, we got the yeah. kisses. That's, your hair smells really nice. Thank you. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't think yours. I'm not no, going to go there. Don't, don't how about we go to the video? Okay. <laughs> We're going to go look at Angels. Uh, this is a great video, actually. Oh. I like this one. Oh, it's me excellent. too. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, Robbie. Mm -hmm. Did you get this? Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Legs. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. nice one.